we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for us to get back into Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Donna. So close to the end. So incredibly close. Ease 9 is looming. Ease 9 is looming. All that being said, it looks like it is time for us to go and do battle. Do battle with the Raid of Doom. Where is Dogi? Dogi squad on advantage. Oh, is there any more Tell fortifications left? I don't think so. I think we did all this, didn't we? Pretty sure we did this in the last episode. It's been a. Um, this wasn't a continuous recording from the last one to this one, so this is where I take a little bit of a break and then my mind melts and I don't remember anything. All right, if you're prepared, then stand by. <laughs> yep, we're good. Uh huh. Level seventy. I'm pretty yes. sure we're gonna be fine. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, we're only sixty-three. Right, I am. I am grossly overestimating how strong we are. What's up, doggos? All right, big guy. Everyone, judge to the doggy squad advantage. Oh, I, I thought I dodged it. My bad. All right, doggy squad even. Big bird. Oh, where? Hello? Where? Where Doc you coming from? Oh, cool. We we got ourselves a bird on top of all the. Oh my God! I moved this. Let's start fixing it. Hey, hey, big birds. All right, we knocked them down. They seem to just want to be like retreating at this point. That's one down. You guys, all right? Where'd the other bird go? All right. Get him! Okay? I think one of the birds escaped, which I'm not super thrilled about. Alright, what? Dogey Squad Advantage. Is that it? That is not it. Oh, we got ourselves a friend. Oh, a little slow on my dodge. That was on me. Uh, there it is. Oh my god. Laxia, get him. Maybe they're, maybe they're sitting uh, chickens. I don't know. I always gotta have all the hatred for ducks. That was one heck of a, of a, of a wave, go. man. That was a lot. We handled it. Not well, but we handled it. <sighs> well, we'll see how this goes by the end of it. Wow, that's great. What do you got for us? Don't underestimate it. Give me my sit rep. No, oh, this guy. I, I did try the dodge, didn't happen though. Uh -oh. Not on this time. No way, no how. We got we got nasty boys over here doing things. Come on. Prevent him from finishing it. You got it. Alright, we got another one over here. I mean, we're all kind of struggling a little bit, Tara. Oh, the big ape man. Come, come forth to 
be annoying. He does not seem to want to still long enough for me to finish him. There we go. My god, that was a lot. Alright. Come on, can we finish him off? Oh, I saw that coming. Eh, I tried the double roll. Did not work. Oh, here we go. Chaos is going to ensue. Big guy down. Oh, no. Alright, so it's up to Laxia to do some stuff. Well, if we're looking for no problems when it comes to... Looking for no problems when it comes to, like, health. Oh, God. Who's this guy? He does fire, that's right. Uh, can, we, can we knock him down? I don't think so. I think he's still hitting me. Thankfully, he didn't light me on fire. Oh, he knocked me on my butt. Come on, come on. Alright, I'm gonna ignore him. We got other guys over here doing havoc wreakage. Don't be startled anymore. The big guy seems pretty upset that we left him to go after others. Ow, ow. Alright, girl. It's up for you. Yeah, hit him with a big old bone. Get away from the fire. Alright, let's start fixing it. Down he goes. Alright, so we fixed that. My god. Brutal. I don't see an S rating coming out of this one. Woo! <laughs> it was all luck. Mm. Good, good. They're still coming. Ah, oh, this is only wave three, my lord. Is there gonna be five waves? The battle's only just begun. Wow. Everyone, charge! I need to get out of here. I really, really tried immediately to dodge as soon as I got hit, like the second time. Since that point, I had tried to do dodge. Oh, I'm like, why don't I see what I'm looking for here? I can keep going. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna try to keep going. I can fly there. Doki squat even. Doki squat even. One shot. Cool. Appreciate you. All right. He's down. A lot more friends and, and family over here. On my way. Oh my god, what just killed me? I'm telling you guys, man, this is a this is a brutal. I mean, we're not even close to being ready for this. hitting me with this Oh my god. Just absolute obliteration coming here. All right. I'm on my way. That, that guy take oh, big boy. Yeah. I know that big guy is super mad. Oh my goodness. Laxia, go. I need something from you. There's so much attacking. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Alright. Come on. Hey, they're hitting the gate, man. They have broken through all of our previous things. Hey, back here. Believe in your weapons. How's our gate handling? I would very much like to not just be getting murdered the whole time. I mean, our gate is definitely taking some abuse. Alright, can we even stop these guys? My lord, we just focused 100% on the gate. Thankfully, we buffed the gate up so much. This is the first time they really got through all of our defenses just to lay into the gate at record pace. Oh my god! All of our all of our stuff except this gong thing is is done at this point. Yikes! We'll sit still and try to get some extra heals out. My god! This is my full potential. Huh? How impressive! Everyone, final wave. Longer. All right, I've Power saved part. I've saved my superpower until the beast's leader comes Doggy out. Squad doing bad. Doggy squad doing bad. Oh. Everyone take care. Huh? All right. I mean, I'd like to get back up. If that is like a possibility. I mean, I'd be cool with that. Let's go ahead and use a heal potion. All right, we're laying into the big guy. Not do a tremendous amount, but it did something. I mean, I've definitely seen worse. Wow, we obliterated the final wave. Let me help you. That went well. Everything else went terrible, but that went real good. All right, I'll take it. I'll take a final wave, a super victory over the multiple other waves of us just getting our head stomped into the ground. If you're going to go out strong, you're going to look solid. You want to do it at the end of the match, at the end of the uh, raid here. Hit that gong. Hurry up, doggy squad. Come on, guys. Oh, rough times. Well, we got through it. We got an A still? Wow, that's absurd. Nice, that's great. Nice, that's great. Yeah, it is. It's really good. Yeah, that's about right. All right, thanks, Doogie. Whoa, amazing! You guys get a S? Yeah, you did. This is perfect. Good job, guys. Ooh, a golden emblem. Yeah, I was thinking of drinking that liquor you gave me the other day. You should join me. It'll get us both pumped before the fight. All right, if you say so, man. Woo! <laughs> That'll put some hair on your chest. Yeah, I can tell. I'm into a hairy chest. Good going down. I haven't felt that in a long time. <laughs> Shouldn't you eat? Slow down a little. Shouldn't you eat something? I'm good, man. Don't worry about me. You eat as much as you want. <laughs> Still, as far as wild adventures go, this one definitely takes the cake. You think you'll ever stop getting us roped into trouble all the time? No. Don't know. Ask God. Beats me. No. I guess we wouldn't have gotten into so many scrapes if you could stop, huh? Anyway, you just leave the village to me. 
I'll make sure it's still standing when you guys come back. Speaking of which... Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm really worried about it or anything, but... You are coming back, right? Th that is the plan. I know we're not strangers to danger, but I'm... Legitimately worried this time. I mean, the lacrimosa might just be the craziest thing you've ever had to deal with. That's true. I'm just saying... I Definitely got this up there. Weird feeling you might not come back from this one. Yeah, don't worry. I'll stop the lacrimosa. I'm coming back with Donna no matter what. Yeah. No matter what. Uh, didn't she have a vision about that being impossible? Yeah, well. Man, you are such a. Uh, oh well. <laughs> It's not like I expected anything less from you. Kind Whatever of a big happens, deal. You know I got your back all the way. Yeah, you do, brother. But you gotta promise that you'll drink with me when you come back, all right? All right. I, I intend I to, to drink till my teeth start floating. So you better be ready. That sounds painful and unsatisfying. D don't do that. All right. Well, there we go. Doggy squad. Advantage. Alright, we got a quest from Adana up here, which is interesting. What's up, girl? Oh, at all. Mm hmm. <laughs> I was lost in thought. Don't worry, it wasn't anything important. You look sad, tell me about it. Hmm. Very well, suppose I can share this with you. Uh, I was thinking about Olga, how I wasn't there for her during her final moments. At the time, I was desperately trying to save what few people remained in the world. So, we didn't have as many opportunities to talk as we used to. You never cease to amaze me. Traveling to the southern nations alone, all because you wanted to help the people there? How can I lose heart after hearing that? While I was researching Eternian lore, I came across a figure known as the Blue Bird. For some reason, looking at you reminds me of the time I spent studying it. <laughs> if I'm ever in trouble, I know where I will place my faith. Okay. That was the last thing Olga ever said to me. I wonder what she was trying to tell me. I still think about it to this day. One thing is clear, though. Olga is dead. And I don't feel sad, really. I just feel... alone. But you're not alone anymore. Let's find out what her last words meant. But, but it happened so long ago, there's no point in searching for answers now. I'd all explain that his fascination with myths and legends is why he became an adventurer. Hmm. At all. Th thank you. In that case, at the time, Olga was studying the myths and lore of various locations. We might be able to find clues at the temple about what she was studying. Yes, if you're with me, I'm sure we can figure this out. Thank you, Adol. Let's go to the Temple of the Great Tree when time allows. Oh, heck yeah. Let's go. Best Friend's Will has been added to the old Equestorino Loggy. Alright, let's go take a look at the Journal. She's still at 100. We need... I think... I think we need more? I, I don't think we've maxed out... Oh, what it was we were doing. Talk to me real quick. I don't know how the situation is going to shake out, but you don't need to worry about the village. Just keep focusing on exploring the island. Good luck, Commander. All right, cool. How uh, can I help you today? Yeah, you know, maxed out, maxed out, maxed out, maxed out. It's not truly maxed out, honestly. It's only Heaven's Thunder, the Mercurius Blade, and the Hyperion Blade. And we have the Corona Iliad Leave here. Leave it to me. All right, finished. We can upgrade to level two. I don't think we can upgrade it to level three. We're missing one, or sorry, two sunlight fangs. No? Yeah, two. All right. Well, I, I guess I'm okay with all that. All right. How can I? No help armor you today? forging for any of us. Dragon armor, gladiator armor. All right. All right. I think we're good. Uh, equipment. Okay. Uh, I'm not real sure where I'm going next, to be honest. Oh, everybody wants to talk to me. They're all super happy with what I've done. Let's talk with the, the bird first. What's up, bird brain? Go out to sea. I want to see the sea. What's up, little peril? 
Take a look. Many primordials. Many primordials. I'm fed up. At all fed up. Thanks, Pero. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. No, thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Uh, I'll keep an eye out. You guys do your best. Being warden hard? Uh, it's okay. I guess. Donna's having a harder time. Well. You guys are here now. Donna is happy. Indeed. I dream. Dream of you guys. But dreams must end. What happens to the dream? D do you have dreams too? W what do you mean? Ah, I like Adolf. I like him a lot. Keep it up, Adolf. I'll watch. Right. I'll cheer. And I'll drink all the beer. Yep. Uh. Did he, did he just leave? Alright. We are on our way. What's up, Hummel? Let's talk, Adol. Let's talk indeed, my friend. The transporter, good old uh, Jason over here. Something wrong. Tell me what's on your mind. What's wrong? Okay. I will. Uh huh. A transporter should never reveal their civilian identity. But you have helped me greatly. Mm -hmm. So I figured you should know how I got into this line of work. The Trabaldo family have operated as transporters in society's underbelly for generations. For that reason, some consider my family to be inheritors of a dark legacy. Cool. And I've always resented my father for choosing to continue that legacy. One day, when I was barely ten years old, my father and I got into a fight, and I ran away from home. I was young and had nowhere to go, so I ended up living on the streets. I was out there, shivering in the cold, when an elderly couple found me. They ran a small orphanage and took me in. There were lots of kids from different walks of life at the orphanage. New kids, myself included, could only see despair in their futures, Fun. seeing the hopelessness in our faces. The couple brought in a street performer for us. When the show started, our eyes lit up as if someone had cast a spell to put smiles on our faces. Mm. After watching that show, I began to idolize street performers. So, when I came of age, I set out to become one myself. I can see you've been really good at it. Hmm. Hmm. If I'm being honest, I don't know if I was ever cut out for it. But I just loved seeing the kids respond to my performance. Years later, after I had garnered some fame as a street performer, I happened to stumble across my father. He was in an alley, lying on his back. I could tell right away his wound was fatal. To this day, I still don't know if he recognized me beneath the clown makeup. He entrusted me with his cargo before breathing his last. Such is the fate of those who dwell within society's dark underbelly. As for his cargo, it appeared to be some sort of contraband. Hmm. But I decided to fulfill his dying wish and delivered it for him. The recipient of the contraband turned out to be a back alley doctor. However, the contraband itself was medicine to treat a spreading disease. I later heard that it was used to treat the kids who came to watch me perform. Cool. At that moment, I learned that people could still do good even within society's underbelly. I also learned from the doctor in my father's journals that my family had influenced events throughout history. Wow. That's when I finally understood my father. And I could not stop crying. From then on, I set out to create a new legacy for the Trabaldo name. You must be proud of uh, your work. That sounds like you. <laughs> sounds like me. 
have trouble sleeping if I don't set things right. Been that way ever since I was a kid. If I hadn't told you all that, I wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight. Huh. Anyway, that's my story. Let's keep helping each other until. Aha! There you are, Adol and Hummel. Uh oh, we've been we've what been found out. What are you guys out? doing up there? It's super suspicious. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to climb back down. At all. Let's keep helping each other until the end. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Definitely not what I was expecting. All right, Laxia. Talk to me, girl. We may. See, there's something I wanted to address with you. Will you come with me? And I'll see a world of pure imagination? Let's do it. How curious. How curious Should indeed. Should we succeed in stopping the Lacrimosa, we will still leave this village regardless. We made this village together. It's bittersweet, that's all. It's hard to believe, or it's hard to leave it all behind. You've changed. <laughs> Do you really think so? Well, yeah. If I have, it's because of everyone in the village. And because of you, I'm at all. I'm part of everyone in the village. When we first arrived here, I was unkind to you due to my feelings toward my father and house. Perhaps I was afraid of losing my status and honor as a noble. After all, that's the last thing my father left me. But everyone I've met on this island, they're all so different, and yet they're able to live their lives with such vigor and confidence. I was so preoccupied by my fears, I didn't realize the others were saving me until it had already happened. But I understand now. No matter what circumstances may befall a person, they can still live on with pride. That's why. I wanted to properly thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk to me about? I thought you were going to say something romantic. Is that what you wanted to talk to me about? Yes. I don't know what the future holds for us. But I don't want to regret anything. So I thought I should tell you now. <clears throat> Which is not to say that my feelings for you are limited to gratitude. Oh? <laughs> Never mind. Um, Dogi and the others are keeping the village safe, and we must fulfill our duties too. Yeah, Let's duties. Fight with all our might until the very end, had all. I mean, that that was that was always the plan. You're sure? Got something in your eye? It's, it's fine. Oh well, I will say that that um that raid was quite a brutal. All right, do we have anyone else to talk to? I don't think so. Oh, we we do. What's up, guys? Excuse me, Ads. Uh, would you like to have some tea? Sure. How does it taste? Like Rakota tea? Rakota taught me how to make it. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? Ah, oh, that's a relief. Good job, darling. I know you delivered the baby safe and sound, but you should still rest until you're fully recovered. You're already taking care of the baby. Let me handle everything else. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm actually feeling much better these days. Hey, We're heroes. Oh, my ring? Ed gave it to me the other night, beneath the beautiful light of the twin moons. Yay! Again, we're heroes. <laughs> I was reminded of the night that we first met. So it just seemed like the perfect time to give it to her. What a perfect, uh, what perfect timing. I'm jealous of you two. What perfect timing. <laughs> Yes, it was such a special moment. By the way, I heard that you found the ruby for this ring, Adol. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, uh. Luke thanks me too, I see. <laughs> Luke seems happy too. I can't believe how much you've done for us, Adol. If it wasn't for you, the three of us wouldn't even be here right now. I can't thank you enough. Yeah. You really are our hero. You're welcome. If we ever get off this island, and you happen to be in Greek, please, pay us a visit whenever you have time. I'll prepare you the best set of adventuring gear. 
Ooh, that sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs> I wonder how big our little one will be by then. I hope we meet again someday. It'll be like 47. You guys will both be dead. It'll be fine. Okay. Um, whomst else? We're about out of time for Earthing, but... Somehow you held out. Haha, <laughs> you certainly have not allowed your skills to dull. Indeed, I suspect the situation has only served to sharpen them. But I don't see this as a defeat. I will do all I can to defend this village. By the way, hmm, if there's time, there's something I'd like you to find, but... Oh, never mind me, I'm just talking out loud, thinking out loud. Uh, although, if the opportunity should arise, I may seek your aid later, in which case, I'll tell you all about it. Okay. What's up, Carlin? Got you a present, buddy. Huh? That emblem? Hey, give that to me. It was swiped from Adol's hands. I, I wasn't mistaken. This is indeed the very emblem that symbolizes the honor of the noble Carlin family. It was on a pretty beach. A primordial spit it out. It was on a pretty beach. Huh. Is that so? Actually, when I was attacked by that sea monster, I dropped it. Hmm. Hmm. Is that why it smells like a nasty beast? No, it smells more like the ocean. Well, never mind. You're an admirable man to retrieve this for me. Plus, you were the one who saved me from my fate. You're among the few promising persons on this island filled with rude people. What was your name again? I wouldn't mind making you a Carlin family servant. Yeah, I humbly refuse. Had all introduced himself formally and simultaneously declined the offer. Hmm. How commendable. It's a waste to let you go, but anyways, you refused back when I tried to give you a reward, too. And then in exchange, I'll let you listen to the storied history of the entire Carlin family. You should feel honored to hear it from me in person. The Carlin family formed 300 years ago, back when the tribe still ran rampant. A marquis contributed greatly to his empire at that time. His name was Arnos Zehar Carlin. Ever since our ancestors' time, our territory has been glorious and is known as the Gorgeous Capital. Sir Carlin made himself comfortable, so I had all listened to his stories for a long, long while. Yay! Talk to me, Sir Carlin, and then we'll break off the episode. <laughs> it has been ages <laughs> since I last regaled someone with tales of my family's glory. Indeed, I am an honorable noble of the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. Much like the Empire, my family's history and glory have endured forever. So, it will continue to endure... forever. Oh, how low I've sunk, trapped on this island. Uh -huh. Living in constant fear of raids by strange, savage beasts. And you refuse my ample, nay, generous rewards for serving me. Ah, oh, if this continues, my family's illustrious history will come to an end. Being a little dramatic, then please lend me your aid. Pardon? What was that? Lend you my aid? Why? My mere presence should be all the aid you require. Huh? At all? Sir Carlin? Man, you two make a strange pairing. What? What do you brutes want? <laughs> We're burning through resources, dealing with all the raids hitting the village. I've put together a plan to manage our resources better, but I'm not so hot at number crunching. Uh-huh. Present it to me. Huh? Sure. Here you go. Dogie and Euron presented their resource management plan to Sir Carlin. Hmm. Hmm? This won't do at all! Oh my god. Huh? Calm your beard, buddy. The quantity for this line item is far too high. You can reduce it significantly. And considering the total population of the village, the quantity for this line item should be... Sir Carlin begins to masterfully fix the resource management plan. Hmm. Oh, I... 
I get it now. This plan makes a lot of sense. I can't see a single flaw in it. As long as we stick to it, I think our resource management problems will be taken care of. Nicely done. <sighs> Why? I only possess this trivial knowledge because my father saw fit to beat it into me. Are you suggesting that you need my knowledge? Yeah. Much as I hate to admit it, that would help us out a lot. Ooh. Eureka! Oh my. At all, this resource management plan shall be your reward. Th thank you. I, I don't know what you mean by that, but I appreciate the help. So, my inkling was correct after all. What? I knew you peasants needed my help. We, we've my literally been asking glory. for it since Will day one. Yet end here. Now hurry along, Adol, and tend to your business. Uh-huh. If you are successful, I may very well feel compelled to reward you again. Oh, goody. Uh, thank you, Alicorda. Uh, indeed. As a noble, I must set a proper example by distributing punishments and rewards as necessary. Must you? You should all be more grateful. Extremely. It's extremely grateful. You demand, Sir Carlin. You demand. Anyway, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this particular episode. I hope you enjoyed, and until the very next one, as the final hours, minutes, seconds of the game trickle on down, we're going to break it off here. In the next episode, I will continue. Till then, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. And always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.